Resist. Urge to be dumb. Hey, what's this do? If you're not careful, this will be the day when everybody realizes that you have their god parents! Their god parents! Their god parents! A fairy? That's absurd! If I was a fairy, I'd look like this! It's Charlie! He's got a fairy! I don't believe you! A fairy! No! Do you realize what you've done? Do you? No! I'm sorry! This is exactly what I was trying to prevent! Even a fairy? Yes. Are there even fairies? Yes. 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 We must be an angry mob! Well, that didn't work out the way I'd hoped. Yo, Quincy here, and this review has something to do with the fairy godparents. In this episode, when Crocker was a child, he had fairy godparents of his own. Since in the present, Crocker is a mean person, he's always trying to prove everyone that fairies is a real thing in the present. But when he was a child, he had fairy godparents himself. And all of a sudden, they lost. Why? Because Timmy ruined it for him, ruined his life for it. And that's what made him this way during this day. Because here's what happened. So, Timmy tr get him off the microphone and then try to explain Crocker stuff. And then Cosmo turned on the, from the present, turned on the microphone. And then with everyone listening to the conversation, and then Cosmo from the past exposed himself. And then Jorgen snatched them away. Now Crocker lost his fairies forever. <sighs> Honestly, which I think it's kind of dumb that he would do that. Like, how he'd get exposed. Like, that wasn't his fault. Like, Crocker didn't mean for this to happen. It was Timmy, the one who decided to yell, and then Colin from the past just literally revealed himself. So, Crocker didn't need, didn't deserve that, honestly. Everyone, I mean, at, at some point, we all deserve a second chance. He could just give him another chance because that wasn't his fault. Yeah, poor Crocker. Like and subscribe, everybody. And make sure you enjoy this video.